And to wrap up mitosis, let's talk about cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm. And there's a little trick. Animal cytokinesis is going to be different from plant cytokinesis. And I'll tell you why in my next slide. So in animal cells, the process is usually known as cleavage. Okay, and you can see it because of the pinching of the plasma membrane. That's what it looks like. That's why it looks like a cleavage. The first sign of cleavage is the appearance of something called a cleavage furrow. The cleavage furrow. Okay, I'm gonna put here number one, just so you can actually see it over here. This is the cleavage furrow, okay? So you see how uh, the cells are kind of pinching off. So what creates this cleavage furrow is gonna be the contracting ring of microfilaments. So these microfilaments, which are also proteins, they're gonna tighten, okay, and squeeze, until the cell till cell is pinched into two into two cells and that's where you get here two daughter cells all right so if you think of it uh you can think of it as a belt because it does something very similar okay you tight your belt right so it can fit okay uh your hips so very similar to this it's just the only difference is you know you have to keep tightening your belt technically until you split into two but it does what a belt kind of does okay one more thing about uh, cytokinesis is don't forget that this starts starts uh around telophase Okay, so as telophase is happening, cytokinesis is starting to happen. So this is going to be animal cytokinesis. Plant cytokinesis is going to be a little bit different for one big reason. So cytokinesis in plants, different than animal cytokinesis. What's going to happen here is going to be you have a bunch of vesicles that are going to have cell wall material. This cell wall material, if you remember from a previous chapter, is going to be cellulose and cellulose is a polysaccharide and cellulose is what's going to make something called a cell wall and that's why it's different because plant cells have cell walls so vesicles that have cell wall material gather at the middle of the cell the vesicles fuse the vesicles are going to fuse together and vesicles by the way what are they made of they're made of membrane And we talked a lot about the composition of membranes, right? Phospholipids, et cetera. So this vesicles fuse forming a membranous disc called the cell plate. So the cell plate is pretty much made of membrane. As the cell grows outward, accumul accumulating more cell wall material, again, cell wall material is gonna be cellulose. as more vesicles join in. So the membrane of the cell plate fuses with the plasma membrane eventually, and then the cell plate's contents join the parental cell wall, okay? And if we go to my picture over here, this is gonna be, the cell wall is gonna be outside, right? Outside the membrane. So we have these vesicles here, vesicles containing cell wall material, a lot of cellulose, so what happened with these vesicles is they're going to be starting here to pile up in the middle, okay? So vesicles containing cell wall in the middle. And they're going to keep making more and more and more vesicles are going to be fusing together, okay? Vesicles fuse together. Okay, eventually forming something like this. So think of it like almost like vesicles, like all of this membrane of the vesicles right kind of getting together in a way something like this okay and in the middle you have a lot of cellulose okay uh cellulose will be a lot 
pretty much in the middle over here, okay, between the membranes. And eventually, what happens is you create this cell plate, which is a bunch of vesicles fusing together, making a membrane. Eventually, you end up with new cell wall, and finally, two daughter cells. So again, the difference is that in animal cells, we have cleavage. In plant cells, you have a cell plate and eventually a cell wall. 